I love flag. Wag. Come on. Flag. Everyone. Wag. Bad, 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 bad. I want to get to know your lengthy black lollipop. One of my neighbors in Denver is a lengthy black teenager. Flag. Wag. Come on. Everyone. Flag. Wag. Mr. Sulu. I love flag. Wag. Black. Wag. Black. Wang. I don't know, George, the guy lived in Denver. Hey, <laughs> um, Mark Harris is here. Oh, he is? I told him he could stop by. We got a really full agenda today. But uh, Mark Harris is here. He stopped by. Watch your balls is what I'm saying. I told him he could plug something. Oh, right. yeah. I believe for every drop of rain that falls, a flower grows. Oh, my goodness. I believe he's, he's dressed up as Prince Charles. Is that what that is? Yeah, but you're not going to be able to hear him through that mask. <laughs> Mark, we can't hear you. you can... Yeah, you're, you're muffled. You're, actually you're wearing a good. mask. But we can't hear you. You know, had I known about these masks, they're better than surgery. You don't need that much surgery. And the cat calls I got just coming here from the men. These New Yorkers are desperate. <laughs> I got to tell you, it's a pretty funny mask. Yeah, I'm telling you, I had a lot of uh, trouble picking it out. <laughs> Where'd the rest of that outfit come from? Uh, His closet. Yeah, right? <laughs> wow. All right, take off your mask so I can speak to you. Oh, I don't blame you. <laughs> the hat first. Oh. <laughs> that is funny. <laughs> I put the mask on. Now, like, <laughs> <laughs> now I'm just my usual beautiful self. Good morning, world. Good uh, morning. Mark, yes. By the way, it's the queen now. He oh, now it's the show. queen. <laughs> Mark, let me talk to you about something because I've been thinking about you. Oh wow! How many, when, year, how, many, how many years have you been coming on the show? Um, thirteen and a half years. 13. Not that I'm counting. Yeah, thirteen and a half years. And in a way. You gotta feel bad for Mark. I, I mean, do. Well, all right, not feel bad, but you're gonna make me a party. No, the the guy has <laughs> been has like you don't realize it, but in the last thirteen years, he's come up with about a million shows. <laughs> oh, it's just my old ego. I love, I and, love that. And yeah. every single show has never made it to the air. Every That's project right. has failed. Well, they went vis a vis E, thanks to you, Howard. Vis a vis E. Well, you showed them on E here or there, like Tasty Travels. Oh, because. Yeah. And then it could get She's right. so shocked. Stolen, she gets it right away. Stolen from by somebody else. Here's what I'm going to do today. I, I went to the log. Tasty Travels. Yeah, not ahead. that kind of log. Not that log. I went but to the it's log. Burning. And, and here's every Mark Harris oh! appearance. All right. And I highlighted a every couple. Every show. Yeah, every show. What his, <laughs> That's a good thing. This could be a good send off. March 11th, 1993. Mark said he just sold the TV show to a network. All right. We, I've never seen it, but he sold the show to the network. But what was the show, which was the network? Don't know. Oh, good. I don't know. Well, either. you should have known what, well, what network did you ever work for. None. Way back then, I don't remember. All right, here you go. June 14th, 1993. June 14th. Mark Harris says he's developing a TV show with Bob Eubanks and Anson Williams called I've Been Screwed. What are you? You're kidding. Talks about a show he made called Dress Up America, which which went nowhere. So now yes. you're up to. He sold the show to a TV network a few months before this right. appearance. This is in 1993. What's with Bob Eubanks? Where, where'd that this come is, from? This comes no, from no, you. That's Direct quote. Quote. No, no, no. We can play. I the remember tape. sitting down with Wink Martindale. Maybe you stand corrected. Bob Eubanks. No, never met him. Maybe you got them confused. All right. Could be at my age. August nineteenth, nineteen ninety three. Wants to put together a game show with Robin as host. Auditioned for a TV commercial, working on a play about Martha Ray, and has two writers working on a script. Now, that was all in one appearance. Right, right. None of that came to fruition. And yes. spoke to Julie Stein before he died. He thought it was a great concept. All right. I remember that. Yeah, okay. e either people die on him. Yeah, Things isn't happen. that terrible? Yeah, but worse luck. All right. Oh, thank God I'm alive. December 7th, 1993, Mark Harris comes in to announce he's writing a book about Martha Ray's life. I don't think that was ever released. It wasn't released, but it is written. <laughs> okay. So he can read it. I'm yeah, just, I, I can mean, read it's it. just sort of tragic. I, I, mean, even I even did it in Braille. You, you want to feel it? You badly want to have something work out in show business. And you, you, wanna you know, know what? I'm going to call go you ahead, this. Go ahead. You are the eternal optimist. That you're right. It's cohesive. You're right. No, honest. You, you really you, think it's going to happen? You hit the nail on the head. 
do I care as much now at 56 as I did then? No, but I'm having the time of my life. You're doing, still trying. I, I'm, well, I'm just having so much fun. But one of these days, he's going to surprise you. He's going to break big. You That's think? why I'm here today, but we'll finish. What do you? Uh, let, let, oh. Let's finish with that, with yeah. your latest. You want to finish or you want to start? <laughs> no, I'm, I'm in the middle of this. Oh, go ahead. We are uh, still in 1993. No, so am I. June 19th, 1994, Mark was releasing a video of Martha Ray's songs with him doing voiceovers on it. What? What? Yes. I don't remember that. Okay. Me doing voiceovers. But July 22nd, 1994, now we've moved up a year. Mark unveils his new clothing line that he developed and planned on marketing. Right. I remember the clothing. Yeah, I do right. too. And I on sold the same show, quite a few mink baseball jackets. The same show, he says he's doing a rewrite of the play Dorian Gray and plans on performing it. Oh, I saw this. Right, and I got footage on that, yeah. Okay, footage. He took his home camera. October 13th, 94, came in to promote his plan to come out with Dorian Gray. So that was two appearances. And wait a minute, and then Robert Evans, he went after it and he was going to develop it and nothing happened. Next. Okay. March 7th, 1995. Boy, Mark Harris everything. announces a plan to produce a show called Tasty Travels, a cooking show. <laughs> yes, right? I remember. It's remember that? Travels, right. Okay. Yes. Then he came back in August 16th of 95. Says the Food Network is interested in his show Tasty Travels. He's come in with a lawyer who's putting together a hotel deal. Right. Wait a minute. Go back to Tasty deal? Travels. Everyone Where did Gordon bets, Elliott come knocking on doors when they had it at the Food Network? Everyone Isn't bets, that peculiar? Everyone bets there's no way Mark's hotel will ever come to fruition and we bet him money and win. And and we never got paid. Mark, and I never got a hotel. And you never got a hotel. So no, and real estate's up. Tasty Travels was going to be negotiated with the Food Network. Agent submitted to Food Network. Next thing, Gordon Elliott knocked at everybody's door but mine. I don't get that. Who's Gordon Elliott? The he's one, a guy yeah, you know, who used tell. to be on Fox the and Australian now he's on guy. the... Uh, oh, you and, feel he stole Tasty yeah. Travels? Well, I feel Food Network, they had it submitted right. by an agent, and then he was knocking on the door a year later. Yeah. My point is, none of these shows have come about, and you are the eternal optimist. Yes. That's all. Absolutely. You can't... You're right. Dissuade him. All right. No, I'm having January, too much fun. Let's get into 1996. January 18th. Oh, I don't even remember that year. 1996. Mark announces he has a TV show called On the Mark. Yes. And he plays two roles in it. Yes. It's Mark talking to himself in drag. <laughs> yes. With Virginia O'Brien, should rest in peace, another one that died, and she played my mom. Howard tells Mark that the show will never see the light of day. <laughs> Mark said that CBS is desperate to have this show. <laughs> Why didn't you just leave it a desperate? <laughs> you should have finished with that word desperate. When you hear this, do you do you ever say to yourself, maybe I shouldn't try anymore? Maybe, no. For, no firstly, never. you're right on so many things, including CBS being desperate. Right. But uh, well, who, you said it, not me. No, I didn't say, ask you. I just said you should have just finished. Mark also so mentions correct. in the same appearance, he wants to create a game show called Play for Miles and a food show called Tasty Travels, still promoting right. that. Uh, swears the show on the mark is on track for production and that Leo DeLion is involved in the show. No, he did ah. the greatest music. Yeah, he was the uh, right. pianist. I remember that one thing when I tried wearing heels and I fell right on top of the piano. It hurt. Okay. And the same show, well, the same show, yeah. Mark then moves into that he's performing at Treasure Island in Las Vegas. Right. Upon further questioning, it's revealed he just rented a room in the hotel. <laughs> Wait, what are you talking about? Uh, That's when I went to Napti and Convention, we'll be, oh, the Sands Convention. And we'll be, and we'll be, okay, go and ahead. We'll be putting on a private show for advertisers. <laughs> That's too funny. I have pictures of that. Not Treasure Island, mind you. Next. Okay. Um, uh, the, the next appearance was June 10th, where I I did not accept the $5,000 from Mark for okay. losing his bet All about right. the hotel. What, was he trying to give you a check? It was $10,000, <laughs> you stand corrected. What Ten. A, okay, good. I, I refused to take okay. the money. Okay, could you I take just, it in euros? All right, here we go. The same show where I refused the money, Mark announces he's on the verge of becoming a very big star. Mark said he filmed the show much like Lifestyles of the Rich and Famous, but for regular people. The poor and the unknown. And was going to go over to England to sell it. I yes. remember that. And I did go there. Said he had a booth at Napti to promote a show. I did do that. Um, we but sent Mark, e cameras. this is not being in show business. No, yeah. but it's having a ball. We sent e-cameras down to cover it, but no one could find Mark. Mark said the booth was under the name Sinistar for right. some reason. Right, right, right. That's okay. correct. All right. Now let's move to 1997. 1997. This is, Look um, at how many no projects you've had. <laughs> but so much fun. <laughs> All right, here this we go. This could be my farewell appearance. Go ahead. Howard asked Mark about past projects he said he was working on, including a game show, a TV pilot, and a Broadway show. 
also said he wrote a jingle for Snapple. <laughs> I did. He also says that he's writing a book called My Life is a Joke and uh, I announces don't he's that. putting an act together with his then boyfriend, David the Violinist. David, David will play, David David will corrected. play violin, Mark will sing, and they will tour together. Right. I remember. Don't you remember? When no, we had a lot of fun, David and I. I cut his strings. He's gone. So even that. Didn't work out. No. You didn't tour with David. Do you see how sorry I am? Did you ever do the Snapple commercial? Yes. But it didn't sell. It didn't Quaker sell. Oats bought them. Now they're privatized again. Maybe I should resubmit. <laughs> <laughs> he never gives up. No, I'm having no, to. But, but you Go know ahead. what amazes me about what? you? Seriously. And I, and Go I mean ahead. This, you, your spirit, you refuse to look at this as failure. And I'm not on Zoloft. You, you refuse to see I'm that. having fun. It's his delusions that keep him going. Right. But do you realize other people kind of now joke about your projects? Because it's hard to take it. It's like the boy who cried wolf. You, you would prefer Scott Peterson? I mean, get Mark, real. I'm having fun. But you do you know that these projects aren't going to work out? The ones you mentioned, absolutely. Do you know that your future projects aren't going to work out? What, like, what are you promoting today? Okay, Toonie Tunes. Right. Did what you see is them? Right. Now, now, okay. I'll tell Listen, you because you know we'll be uh, reading this no, two no, years from I'm now. I'm going to tell you what it's about. Okay, right. very simple. Uh, because of the exposure you have given me from this show, Thank this you. platform, yeah. and the fans, your fans, my fans, whatever, they're great people out there. Some aren't so great, but I got a call from this IDT Telecommunications, and they go to my website www.akamarkharris.com, and they loved all the tabloid, the gossip songs that I did, these jingles. And I went there in Newark, New Jersey, and uh, met with this guy Yoni, all a bunch of religious uh, Jewish people. And Leo Klein says, "This is it. Can you animate?" And I look at him. I said. Can I animate? Next thing, I was animating these things, and I sent them to you. And of course, poor Vinny, because I bother him every day, as you say. Right now, what are you? So, what are you saying? Are you having meetings about these yes. cartoons? Well, now there are. Well, I don't understand. Wait a minute. Why are you animating them? <laughs> well, <I'm laughs> if somebody wants to do this, why do you have to animate? I'm producing them. So, in other words, okay. it's, it's animated Mark Harris's songs. Yes, yeah. well, on gossip about. Right, let's the, hear one of these. Yeah, these are the royals that you have here. You animated this. Yes. Great Britain's misery, the royal family, oy vey, the queen, the miller, of both, I think has hairy moles, she shouldn't drive an so your Toonie Tunes... Yes. They is, animated that? Yes. Oh, they look great. Well, how great can the royal family look? They're not pretty. <laughs> All right. So, and what is your point That's of view on the royal family? You don't like them or you like them? I can't even tell from this song. Like, dislike. Uh, your heart goes out to anybody that looks that bad. So is that... Is your attitude is they look bad and you don't oh, like them? Oh, they make Camilla look very good. So you don't like the royal family? Not really, no. Do you? I, 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 don't, I, I didn't write a cartoon I guess, about it. No, I guess I was more a fan of uh, the late Princess Di. I see. So you're angry with Prince Charles marrying Camilla Parker Bowles in this song. I'm just Who trying to... Tell? Well, no, that's, yeah. that song uh, just shows me uh, and the Queen and uh, the differences between mother and son and throwing a tomato at Camilla and stuff like that. So, you, she should so, go so it's an angry roles. kind of song. No, no, not angry at all. You're lampooning the Yes, the lampooning would be... Right, yes. All right. Well, it's fair to say you don't like the, the royal family. That would be fair. All right. But then again, look at Joan Rivers. She didn't like them in a stand-up, and now she's there attending the wedding. All right. Please don't invite me to the next wedding. All is. right. Listen to this. May 25th, 1999. Mark talks about a pilot he shot and how he gave the tape to Howard. <laughs> Howard was said it? he passed it along to Vinny. <laughs> um, uh, Mark says, if Rosie O'Donnell can get ratings, so can I. That sounds right. All right. Uh, December 4th, 1999. Excuse me, November 4th, 1999. Mark is in town to meet with the publisher about his book he's writing, From Outer Space to Cyberspace. The publisher. That's right. Which is, yeah, which is emails from his fans and his responses to them. They were not, too hot to handle. Not one of these projects has made it. You're right thus far. <laughs> <laughs> what is it, Captain Jenks? Go ahead. You're on with Mark Harris. Hey, good morning. I was so inspired by Mark's appearance this morning that I made a prank phone call to C-SPAN. All right, let's hear it. C -SPAN. Let me hear All it. right, thanks. Philadelphia, good morning. What do you say? Good morning. Mark Harris is a homo. 
Let's go to Crosby, Minnesota. All right. That's C-SPAN. That's yeah, Mark, right. You, Mark, they you may get little, ratings now. You and your little traveling off-Broadway show, is, it just sucks. Every time you come on, it's so boring. Try using your tongue. I am off-Broadway. Vinny Favalli, you're on the air. Howard, that list is absolutely priceless. What, what year are you up to now? I'm up to 99. <laughs> yeah, we haven't even gotten I gotta to tell the you, I have a shelf century. in my office full of videotapes and CDs. He is unbelievably optimistic. But what's yeah. with Bob Eubanks? He, he calls me yesterday to tell me, and Mark, I still don't understand this. He goes, Vinny, a phone company is buying yeah. me out. Not a phone company. I'm not going to reveal who. Who is buying you out? What do buying you, have? you out of what? What the do you have future to of the you thought it was great, Vinny. Why don't you tell the truth? No, no, no. All these I think animated it's tunes. I can understand the it. future of this is for mobile cell downloading. And how do you work into that? I don't want to reveal all that right now. We're in the midst of talks. <laughs> <laughs> I can't. I can't. But there's Mark, a whole business you, up and coming. I guarantee you. Whatever it is you're up to now will not work out. No, so based you, on this. In other words, record. if you see my stuff on the mobile phones, you're not going to download it. You're saying. That you're in the middle of a deal. Of where selling a, out. Where a big phone, deal. They flew him in. He met with the whole board. You know that's a lie. He sounds Admit real you're when lying. he calls. No, I'm You not met lying. with a phone company. And he's not lying. Yes. And, and, and the phone company Loves wants my to library buy. of music. And now that they could visually see it, hopefully you're going to cut, out, oh, cut it up please, and show Mark, it on this E. This is another one of those... It's um, not going to um, happen. No? Howard, no. So somebody to else somebody. is going to be able Howard, did you see the Tooney Tune? Have you seen them? Yes. They're actually, the production value is pretty good. There you go. Pretty good. It's great. All right. It, Mark, it, listen to me. Yes. I can guarantee you yes. your Toony Tunes yes. will not be bought by anyone. Toony Tunes. Did you see never, the one with you in it? It looks great. It's great, yes. but it will never work out. I there see. There is nothing commercially viable. So in now what am I supposed to do? <laughs> slit my wrist? No. I'm oh. just giving okay. you... I don't want you to waste your time. I'm, I'm, not, I'm having a ball you. doing these things. I care about you. But it's so much fun to do this. Did you Where did I ever come to together? animation? Continue if I knew list. animation is part of life, who would have plastic surgery? Right. Howard, continue with the list. What year are you up? Go, go through 2000. And I guarantee Looney Tunes will sue the gay pants off him. Yes. And why? Because you can't do Toony Tunes. It's too close to Looney Tunes. Really? Yeah. Well, I have the name reserved, ToonyTunes.com. You do. Yep, I do. Uh, can you imagine a phone ringing and that coming out of it? People be throwing away their <laughs> what, then you Not mean, when it has your you face this, on it. You don't want this on your phone? Open roads, oi vey, the queens. Oh, Miss Queen Elizabeth, ma'am. Wait, I'd like to have a word with you. Oh, your royal highness, why don't you just stop that silly wave? There's nothing more to wave about. Sounds pretty contemporary. Oh, stop. Oh, yeah, it's a catchy I, tune. I say, when you hear this ring duck, because the phone is going to fly. The kids on American Idol are going to do a uh, Mark Harris night. <laughs> Imagine being in church and you're going to I mean, that's, that's, that's a good idea. Couldn't you talk to him? Don't you have a royal psychiatrist around Buckingham Palace? So this will, this song will, then the cartoon will come over your phone. And how much are they paying for this? Millions of dollars? Well, the way they sell it, you mean to the yeah. user? You yeah. Pay I mean, X amount of dollars no, to download. No, to you. You, they're How buying you out. But they're, well, you, I, you told Vinny they're buying you yeah, out. Yeah, so I'm going to sell them my uh, aptitude library. to doing all this, plus my library. So, but so I don't say it's always going to be about the uh, royals. Are you going to sell the songs? The songs. The publishing? Yes. You're going to sell the cartoons themselves? Yes. For one lump sum. For one lump sum. Mark, don't do it. Plus a good Those salary. Are Why, you want to back me Why up, Vinny? Because I think that stuff in the future is going to be worth That's way like more than that. Oh, now, yeah, yes, it are is. Are you like talking a million dollar deal? I would hope more. Always wow. retain the publishing, wow. though, don't you think? You're oh, saying where does a million dollars get you today? They're, they're going to give you millions for this? I would say so. Really? Mark, hold yeah. on to the rights. I'm telling you, that would be a big mistake. Mark, millions of... Vinny, why don't you come over here and hold it yourself? But goodness knows, those subjects are going to get very angry. When will you know? <laughs> the when end you, of May. At the end of May yes. is when the deal will be finalized. Y well, I don't know if it's going to be finalized. We're going to meet mid-May. We've been oh. having email and And you're telephone. confident that this is the big one? Yes. Yes. Who are you talking to? Yeah. Wouldn't you like to know? Because Mark, I want to throw those executives in jail. Mark, yes. don't you see that announcing Oh, stuff? there's a lot of executives going to jail, but not for talking to me. Mark, announcing <laughs> stuff on this show is bad luck. Really? Yeah. Oh, I don't <laughs> believe, I don't believe in that. I'm not superstitious. I'm not even religious. So you, so you don't really blame us. Sitting here Why today, would I blame you? You're sitting, so cute. Mark, sitting here yes. today... After I read this entire yes. list... Yes. I, haven't, I haven't even gotten through the, the, yes. the year 2000. 
every single business that you started mm -hmm. failed. But yet you sit here today and firmly believe that Toonie Tunes will be sold to a <laughs> yeah. major company for millions of dollars. And people will be downloading that over I their phone. I sold a lot of Ming baseball jackets. No, that no, no, didn't no, fail. no. Bob Eubanks I never met. And whatever else, I had so much fun. That's all I remember. Listen to this. Um, uh, March 28th, the year 2002. I'll skip ahead. Oh, we're coming up in the world. Mark says he wrote a treatment for a TV show that he planned on pitching to the gay TV network that oh. was coming out. That's why I say CBS is desperate. Where is this network? Uh, August 12th, 2002. While in to promote his box set coming out in stores. Box set? Thanks to Howard Stern, those sold at the colony. He mentioned that he's working on getting a reality show, an Ozzy Osbourne type show that he wants to shop around. Him and Boris. Yeah, he sent us clips. That's right. <laughs> and a buttermilk bath. He was yeah, taking yes. a buttermilk bath with a guy named Boris. Oh, my God. The bath was great and the rubbing of the knee was better. Right. Oh, my God. And, um, yes, he was there, too. On 2005, uh, uh, just to jump ahead to the current year, his last voicemail, he was doing a radio show with Andrew Dice Clay called Famous and Andy. Right. Well, right. And so what much was his that. daughter? So much for that. So much for that. Well, he was going to replace us, right? Yes. He did the That's radio why show. I say CBS is desperate. Mark, we're still talking about <laughs> I got heartburn from this. About you. What? We're still having big discussions at CBS. Well, uh, is CBS's eyeball open or closed these days? Mark. Yes. Big things are going to happen. Yeah? I'm Should sure. I go to the other network with the cockatoo? All right. Listen, I want to thank Mark Harris. His Toony Tunes are available at akamarkharris.com. Look for them nowhere soon. Yeah. <laughs> what was that? <laughs> he Howard, is have very... you seen his tribute to 9-11 on his website? Uh, no. It's to the tune of Give it's, My Regards. It's, to not a, it's not a tribute. It's a reminder. <laughs> it's a reminder. you got planes crashing into the building while he's thinking Give Vinny. My Regards to <laughs> Vinny. Howard, you have to see it. I'm begging you. <laughs> Vinny, it's a better right sight down. than you in the morning. Uh, Wait a second. Let me understand the tribute to 9-11. <laughs> it's, it's footage of the World Trade Center. Right? Yeah. Everything happening in real time, and he's singing Give My Regards. No. To the World Trade look, Center. now you have to go to a website. Uh, he's crazy. <laughs> I'm not singing I'm Give My right Regards now. to I'm Broadway. That's ridiculous. <laughs> Give My Regards. And, and Vinny is more ridiculous. No. <laughs> no it's not it, it, it makes good radio, oh, so God. therefore, well, check now, out can I AKA say Mark I would be fully done. Is that part of the package you're selling to the phone company? My website? The, no, no, the, the, the tribute to 9-11. No. Don't Why not? that, Mark. What are you it's talking a song about? you wrote. That's just on my... And a video. Wait a minute. That's just on my website. But if I'm buying your that whole catalog... Not, that is not going... I would they put don't that get everything? Thing. I thought well, I you think out. you should be there for the meetings. I like her. How are you? Not, how how are they going to turn that away? In other words, if I'm buying Mark yes, Harris, I yes. want the tribute to 9/11. Well, let's put everything on the table. I think you should be there too to remind me. I forget things. Give me a ballpark figure. What you think it's worth? Your catalog. I'm being serious. Two million. Two million dollars. Yeah. That's low, Mark. <laughs> That's low. No, <laughs> that has nothing to do with my contract. What do you mean? Well, creative. You know, oh, I'm going he's to do more. To are create? you going to continue to produce? So, you, so in other words... They'll consult with me. $2 million for the present library. <laughs> yes. Plus an additional fees for <laughs> ongoing projects. So they own yeah, you. There's a lot of movies to do. <laughs> yes. Do they own, yes. But would they own your book rights and everything else? Or do they just buy your... Music. music? Nobody could own my book rights. You mean my life? Yeah. I'm just on chapter three. All right. So, so my point is... All this is negotiations for your music, your videos, yes, and ongoing music. productions for Tuny Tunes. Howard, right. do you Tunes. think somebody could hate his music so much? No, that, that they, they buy, would it? buy it just to keep it. You mean like playing? what Bill Cosby did with the Little Rascals? Yes. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> I think that's possible. Like Robert, some gay Robert. guy said, you know what? I'm buying the whole catalog. This guy's just... <laughs> Elton John's going to do it. Elton John's going to buy it and say, I'm, I'm putting this away somewhere. Gee, he's even mentioned in one of the Toonie Tunes. Is he? Yes, he is. In what respect? Do you uh, hold him in high regard? Very high. Okay. Uh, <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> oh, my God. He's like a gay buster. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I don't really. know. I, I never Harris, really thought of him. It's always great to see you. Congratulations. Same here. It's uh, it sounds like you're this time. Yeah, sounds like you got a winner. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> you think so? Tuny tunes. Good. Can we Robin. Ask, yes. Can we ask Mark if he ever once uh, on an unrelated topic thought about sleeping in the same bed with you? <laughs> no, not Howard, and certainly not you. Only Robin, Sal. on the other hand, there could be an evening or two. <laughs> but Sal, not because she's a female; she's prettier. 
Well, I want to thank you, Mark. Not than me, the uh, group oh, here. Oh, thank sorry. you so much for thank stopping you. by. <laughs> and I really honestly wish you <laughs> luck. Nice I know you do. <laughs> with your tuning I know you do. Thank, thank you. you. All right. Hey, Mark, stop by the office. I'll see you later. Uh, dress like this. <laughs> do you know how many cat calls I got, Vinny? And that was just in this building. No, the last time you came to my office, it was like Liberace was visiting. No, I told him. They said, who is he? I said, don't worry. I was a star I, once. I my name tell is you, Norma. I don't know if this will please you or not, but we have word that your website just crashed. By the <laughs> amount, I'm being serious. Are you serious? With, you you oh. know who handles my traffic? Who? Uh, GoDaddy. GoDaddy.com. Honestly, Wonderful. yeah. Well, evidently, For years. No, really, since it started. Well, evidently, so many people try to get on to see your tribute to 9-11 yeah. and your Toonie Tunes. Oh, is that right? That literally a crap. Maybe you're on to something. Next thing, Snapple. All right. <laughs> we'll be back right after these. Boys. Listen, người vào đây bên em về một chiếc Hyundai Accent xe sản xuất 2018 số tự động và cũng rất tiếc khi con xe này thì cũng bị đâm vào hết phần cốp rồi nói chung là cốp thì phải nằm lại hết đấy tuy nhiên là trước khi báo giá thì em sẽ quay tổng thể chiếc xe xe phiên bản màu đen là xe này một chiếc dòng một ngũ hạng B cạnh tranh trực tiếp với vai ớt hoặc là city tuy nhiên là đa xem thì giá cả rất
Thank you.